All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me, people. And we are back with another one, post-match review. So anyways, hopefully, guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're here for the first time, Jamar Clark came off the bench to save the reggae boy on a 20 team. Nevertheless, we're going to run through the whole aspect of the team. So we're going to start off first by the starting lineup. No, it's not so far fetched from my predicted starting lineup. Let's see who's there. Malakai. Uh, Malakai and. Uh, okay, so it's Malakai, Duncan, and Scarlett. So these are the three persons. These are the three players that I didn't um, predict in the starting lineup. So the starting lineup had um, Conway Boys Clark, Romain Blake, um, Luke Badley Morgan, Rochester, Lamont Rochester. Malachi Douglas, Tarek Zimenez, Christopher Pearson, Duncan McKenzie, Tyler Roberts, Devante Campbell, and Zion Scarlett. On the bench, we have Anderson, um, Clark, which is Jamar Clark, Barkley, um, Thomas, James, Watson, Big Nell, and the next Watson, both Watsons. Anyways, so people, as I said, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and do the necessaries that we know we are looking for. So let's start off from the kickoff. No. The first 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes of the game, I would say that we had a bit of control, pressing, playing hard, playing high intensity, aggressiveness. No, what I realized that they were committing a lot of fouls from early out. <laughs> from minute one, I realized they were creating a lot of fouls, committing a lot of fouls from early out. And it's just peculiar, unfortunate that whenever we commit a foul, we will receive a yellow card for it, whilst they are committing multiple fouls, multiple fouls over and over and over again. Nevertheless, so after first 15 minutes, our intensity looked good. Well, within the first 15 minutes, our intensity looked good. Then we, start, we, we just fall off. Like we hit a brick wall. Boom. Not saying that we stopped playing, but the intensity. You could clearly identify the intens intensity, intensity drop off. Actually, just finished re-watching re -watching the first half, actually. So I watched that taking away the emotions of what I don't like, what I never like. No, in the first half, let me evaluate the players per the first half. Um, I do think that Bono, um, Conway and Boyce Clark had a good first half. I think he made like about one or two, about two simple saves. Um, nothing threatening. The only threatening one was on the 46 minutes at the time was when it was a clear um, header from the, 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 the Costa Rican striker. Clear, clear header and he just took it quite easily. But they didn't really threaten us. We looked threatening as well, but we didn't really um, create that final penetrative pass. We were a bit sloppy in the final third, um, but they were a little bit more aggressive in the final, in their final, in our final, our defensive third, their final third. Yeah. But nonetheless, they didn't really capitalize on the opportunity because they were creating quite a few opportunities, half chances, not complete clear-cut chances, but they were getting the dangerous areas, pushing us back after in the 2020 region. We could saw that some of the players, they look a bit legged. I'm not sure what could cause that. Um, not a good game from um, um, Christopher Pearson, and I lauded him to have a good game, but he didn't have a good game. Um, poor passes. Didn't really pick up the space. It was look. It looked. It looked a bit slow trying to cover the the, the, the vast areas that he had to cover. I'm not sure if he's ha he has an injury, but he looks as if he has a niggle. It really looks as if he has a a niggle. Um, Malakai Douglas had a solid performance alongside um standing in the midfield there. Um, Duncan McKenzie extra a lot of activities was really all over the place doing a lot of work um most definitely not saying that he was just doing stupidness but he was definitely in, heavily involved in a lot of the happenings zion scarlet no a poor start for zion Clark, Carl scarlet um breakaways miscontrol heavy touches um he looks extremely nervous he looks really really nervous and that maybe could be a huge impact on him but he looks nervous to me um it didn't get it didn't look comfortable on the ball it didn't run it run the channels it didn't utilize the spacing so i do think that it just overall just didn't have a good um game 
No, uh, what was Tyler Roberts uh, burst of um, speed, um, speed, energetic, really look aggressive going forward. He looks dangerous whenever he receives the ball. He was driving at the players. Um, looks good. Zimini's compact, cool, compact, um, composed from the Zimini's going forward and defensively. I think one and two times, one and two times would leave us um, exposed defensively. Luckily, we have a very good center back. Um, makeshift center back in in in, in Romain Blake who covers that half space that right half space really really good Romain Blake had an exceptional game good good performance from Romain Blake all round Bradley Morgan I do think that um he tends to ball watch a bit too often and I just I think that's something that he work on looks composed um Rochester booming forward as well coming back at some of the time overly aggressive from Rochester I would say so it was most definitely in the first half that Nilal look composed, look compact. In the second half now, still didn't see much. Um, from in the second half when Clark came on, you saw how Clark was running the channel. You saw how Clark make himself a nuisance to the defenders. That is how we actually got we got the first a clear um big big chance, which was actually a goal, um a penalty. Sorry, a penalty where Clark opened his body receiving the ball, driving towards the defenders. Chad James, who came on for Tyler Roberts. Surprisingly, Tyler Roberts came off. He looks a, 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 a bright spark. Devante Campbell on the next side. Look a bit fatigued. Looks just slightly tired. And even in the second half, you saw he, he, when, he went, when, when he went down. And they had to make the change. Um, going forward, as I said, Jamar Clark. Going forward, play the ball, slip the ball into the channel for Chad James. And he was brought down inside the box. Unfortunately, Duncan McKenzie could not put the penalty away. It's a good save by the keeper. I would say I wanted to say it was a good attempt, but after rewatching it without the emotions, <laughs> I would say Duncan could have definitely done a lot better with that one. He could have most definitely done a lot better with that one. Um with that penalty. But good save from the keeper. Well, well good um work by by the, the goalkeeper. Um Pearson came off. I who came on? I think Barkley came on for Pearson. Was it Barkley? I think it's Barkley came on for Pearson. Um, Barkley look come on. It looks good coming on uh, coming on actually. Um, no, not Pearson. Um, Malachi Douglas. Um, my apologies. It looks it looks composed coming on. It looks really really good. And he, he started to. You, you can see that he's the leader type, dictating, t speaking to the players. Um, at one point, Jamar Clark he realized that Jamar Clark was going with a, a he, going to clash with the, the, the referee, and he pulled Jamar Clark away. So he looks as if he's that type of leader. Um, the goal that we conceded was most definitely that goal was most definitely um, a defensive error, lack of communication. Um, Lamar Rochester could have tried his best to stop the cross from coming from coming in, and then now we have um, Bradley, Bradley Morgan. Badly Morgan just ball watching and didn't see the defender um, um, and the attacker sneaking behind him uh, to get that header. Um, so it was just a, a defensive um, misunderstanding. I do think that the players need to have some dialogue a little more. But as the game goes on, you'd see that some of the players look a bit legged, heavy. Pearson looked heavy legged. I'm surprised that Pearson went um, so long in the game. I was surprised. Look, heavy, heavy legged. Um, and so later on, leading up to, um, leading up to the, to the later part of the game, we got another penalty. They got their goal. We got another penalty. We are on the 98 minute, 97 minute, and uh, the man himself, Jamar Clark, um, stand up to take that penalty. He was the one actually win the penalty. They pull him down inside of the 18 box. He was causing peer problems. So he was at major major impact he had a big big impact coming off the bench and into the game so he's telling he's telling the coach hey coach i am the man who should start um we didn't get much from zan scarlet so he said i am the man who start because this is what i have to provide this is what i can do and put me in the position and you most definitely get this on a regular basis and he take the penalty cool calm and collectively he put away the penalty and the reggae boy secure one point going into the next game now as it stand ah uh, as it stands, I do think that that Costa Rican team is also a really good team as well. They play some good football. So this is telling us that, look at the other teams. Let's see what they have to after. Unfortunately, no, we can now make proper, proper observation and analysis of the games and how the teams are going to be playing. Because now we have seen how the teams played. We can make proper analysis. Before, we were making assumptions and presuming that this might work out like that. But now we'll see what's happening. And I do think some of the players fitness wise need to get up to scratch you can see that 
um, players going down um, for cramps and all these other aspects. So, in general, I would say a, a, a tough, tough competition, a tough, tough fight for the reggae boys. They came back. We could have gotten the victory, a penalty thrown away. And yes, we scored one, but they also got opportunity. They hit the bar as well, and they were digging for um, those late goals. So, nonetheless, good performance and both for both teams, good performance. And it, the points are sheer, which is quite understandable evenly and most notably we'd say that that was a good um overall scoreline for the game until next time people look out for the player ratings see you guys again mg sports cv we are out military guna boom